Alright, so as you can see, I've done quite a bit of cleaning up on my ship. I got rid of these chests up here. Uh, put this walkway, I guess, here to, so I can store some more stuff. I bought, or I guess crafted a couple things and spent quite a bit of stuff on these, uh, quite a bit of materials on these storage containers and ended up making way more than I needed. <laughs> so. I mean, it looks nice, but like these are almost empty. These two, and that's kind of full. And like I said, I could have definitely been a lot more wise about the space I've used up. I also made this switch, just screwing around with the wiring tool. If I hit this, it closes all the doors and shuts off the lights. I don't know why I'll ever need that, <laughs> but I was just screwing around with this wiring tool I got a while back, and I just never used it, so I screwed around with it a bit. And that's what I with it. Um, yeah, so this is my food chest. Uh, that is like healing supplies, I guess, and stim packs. That was gonna be my wiring chest, but that was like all I really made with wiring, and then I figured you can just use the wiring tool to do most of the work. Couple spare blocks here, and my minerals, and pretty much everything, kind of like all the rare items, I guess. Items that you can't really get again, that I don't really want to delete, but I don't really want to use. Like the space suit stuff. I would have to replay that quest, I guess, to get them again. And like the snow infantry stuff and all these chests, which I don't really want to get rid of, but they're really not that useful. Uh, what else was it? Oh yeah, and my pixels. Uh, I just created a compressor, a pixel compressor, and it basically compresses pixels so that you can store them in the chest, but it does use 40% um, are lost, so, but it's better, like I haven't really been using pixels, so there's no point in me carrying this, like this is 12,000 pixels right here, there's no reason for me to carry those 12,000 and then just end up losing them every time I die, I might as well throw them in there and then when I need them, they're there, and the rest I'll just carry on myself for whatever. I haven't really needed them for anything. Uh, so I think this whole bottom row is still the same as it used to be, but yeah, I made the compressor, the refinery. This you can put in ore, and it'll give you pixels. Um, you used to be able to put in bars, I think. Like, I could put in an iron bar there. I think I used to be able to, and then it would give you more pixels than if you only put in ore, but now you only can put in ore, and it'll turn it into pixels, so it's a bit of a difference. This is an employee station or something and apparently you can like uh, build these spawners I know these spawners were in the last update but you couldn't like create them you have to like find them out in the wild I think um, and basically you just put it down and it'll teleport in that type of person I actually made a apex spawner but putting it on the ship doesn't actually do anything <laughs> Then I threw my bed up here kind of out of the way, because I don't really use it that often, but it's nice to have. Um, so yeah, the only thing in here I haven't made, or actually, I made the employee station and the pixel compressor, but these other three things I haven't. Sky rails I need the uh, tech for, and creature capture, capture station I might make. Portable pixel printer, that will probably be useful for crafting stuff on the go. But yeah, this creature capture station, I don't know what exactly it's for, because when I beat the quests, they give me these capture pods. And I actually went back and replayed the first mission. I was going to go replay all the missions to make sure I didn't miss, miss anything. But it turns out that morph ball I got, um, there are actually like small spaces that you can't fit through unless you have the morph ball. And in the first mission, I found one like right at the end towards the... Uh, the boss, there was a small space I fit through, and then there was a cat over there. And apparently you can throw a morph or a capture pod at him, and it'll capture him. And now this thing will like follow me around, I guess? I haven't actually seen if he attacks or does anything. <laughs> like, I think he's just like a useless cat, because I know you can use these things to capture wild animals. Like in the last update, you could use them to capture any like monster and then it would help you fight but in I know for the last update if it died like if you captured a monster and then it ended up dying in the battle that was it it was dead 
<laughs> forever and you have to find a new one. So I never really got into that. And I think that's what the creature capture station caption oh I can be sleeping. Um capture station is for. I think you can craft these instead of just finding them. So that's pretty much where I'm at now. I think I'm gonna replay Wait what? Oh, never mind. I thought I had all those upgrades, but I forgot I didn't get the last one. Um, yeah, and it turns out this is the last one. Nope, 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 nope. I think. Nope. I just saw something moving in the background. There's the cat. Um. Oh wait, I didn't mean repeat the second one. I want to repeat this one. Because this one, I actually ran through. Like, I ran to the ending, expecting to go back and uh, find everything I missed. But it turned out, once you go to the boss room, it, like, locks you in. So there's a lot of stuff I missed on this one. And now that I have the morph ball, I'm sure there'll be some secrets. So I think I'm going to go do that now. Apparently my cat does not follow me to the missions. <laughs> um... I wonder if there's any actual way to get out of here. It doesn't look like there's like any chests or anything out there. So yeah, I guess not. So let's go in. Oh yeah, see that's gonna get some taken used to. Uh, I always hit F when I fall because I used to have that uh, bubble thing to stop fall damage. Now I just turn into a morph ball and that does not stop fall damage. But I found out this like ground pound thing does stop fall damage but it's a lot harder to use because you have to double tap down in time before you hit the ground last time I all I'd have to do is hit F and it would save me pretty much guaranteed um, but I'm not really gonna bother too much with get gathering all these pixels last time I was gathering all these uh, pots of like pixels and stuff but really I don't think I need pixels oh crap are these enemies different I'm pretty sure they are. I was just saying I wasn't getting gather pixels. But I, I do want to search all these chests, so I might as well scra gather, gather them uh, while I'm here. 292. I think it's harder now. There's new enemies and there's better weapons. I'm wondering if it gets harder as you level or whatever. Oh wait, didn't I already come in here last time? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I'll grab that, even though I think it's the same as the one I have at home, or back on the ship, so I'll just delete it if it is. Uh, for some reason it seems louder. But it's not, so <laughs> that's weird. It probably won't seem any louder to you, because I'll fix it in editing. Oh, now it just went all silent. Apparently the game like can sense that I found it too loud and it just went quiet. <laughs> I never found out what the, those seeds were for either, or what they grow. Yeah, I don't actually know if they're good. Like I said in a previous episode, I haven't really been bothering with food because there's no real reason to from what I see. Like stim packs or um, bandages are way better in my opinion, but I haven't really made food so I could be just completely wrong and missing out on a good thing so yeah last time I think I went down and then just kept going straight like straight to the boss room this time I'm probably gonna search like every single corner of everything and I'll probably be skipping around a lot because it's just a lot of oh that can I get up there that looks like I can maybe fit in there there we go yeah, so that's what I was talking about. In the first mission, there's one of these. Like, you can't fit through it just by standing. But if you turn in... Oh, I thought I actually got myself stuck. I guess I could have turned into a morph ball, but whatever. Nothing really that useful, though. <laughs> Pixels. Um, but yeah, there's one of those in the first mission, the mining facility one, right at the end where the boss was. I was just replaying it to make sure I didn't miss anything. And it turned out I did. Oh god, that was a trap chest. Great. <laughs> Alright, it actually didn't re release that much poison. Um, 
Yeah. There's looks like there's a good chest up there. But I have to open this. And get out of the way of the poison. Alright. <laughs> Predatory chest. Um, the room's still filling with poison. Okay, I think that's the end. But, that's the exit over there. I hope that's not the only exit. So yeah, that chest down there apparently is uh, trapped to drop poison. Alright, well I'm gonna try and get over here. I'm definitely gonna have to jump in the poison though. It looks like there might be something up there. I'll probably have to heal up here before I do anything. And it looks like I'm gonna have to use my climbing rope to get up there. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to see in the dark. Damn it, I clicked out of the window so it didn't even count. <laughs> Great. Alright, now I just gotta... Damn it, there goes the climbing rope. Oh, alright. Well, let's hope there's a way out up here. So far it's not looking very good. This is where all the poison was, so... No, there is no way out up here. So I gotta swim through the poison. Well, there was a bed on the other side of this way out, so I can just... get out there and not waste my... God. Yeah, I'm gonna go sleep- go back to that bed and sleep. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I finished that mission up. Um, I didn't really find too much useful. Like, I found a complete set of this predatory stuff, which doesn't really look too good, in my opinion. Um, I found another one of those hats that I just deleted and that mask I already showed you guys. All the other weapons and stuff were kind of worse, so I just deleted them. This one looks pretty good. It is two-handed, but it's 338, and it has lightning. Mine's only 240, so it almost is 200, or 1,000 more. Not 1,000, 100 more than my current weapon, but it is two-handed. And I don't really like two-handed weapons. I might try it at some point, but I don't really like it that much. Um, then this gun, it's better. It does 271 compared to mine 267, but it's fire, and it doesn't shoot very far. Like with my crossbow, I could shoot as far as I can reach pretty much, like quite a distance. This only shoots a tiny bit. So, I kind of don't see a point in that, because a ranged weapon is supposed to be for a long range. Durasteel, I found that at the end of the quest, so that's good. I don't really know if I need much Durasteel anymore, but it's nice to have, I guess. And this was, this is what made it all worth it, pretty much. <laughs> this blank tech card. Um, I can get a new tech. I don't know which one I want. I like the bouncy one. The morph ball one, I pretty much will only need when I'm replaying a mission to collect some old stuff. Um, light rig might be useful, like it sounds like you could light up areas, but then why wouldn't I just use my torch at that point? My flashlight at that point. Ground smash, energy dash. Gravity bubble. I think I'm gonna try that one because last time gravity bubble was like the best one I think. So what do I do? Um, press and hold jump while in the air to use gravity bubble. Yeah, this. Oh wait. Maybe it's not as good as it used to be, <laughs> or maybe I'm thinking of a different one. The last one. I might hang on to this one just to try it out, but yeah. The other one I'm thinking of, you used to be able to control up and down as well. It, this one you only can float left and right, the other one you can float up as well. So I don't know how useful this is going to be really, like unless there's a huge gap to get across. We'll see. I'll hang on to it for now. Extreme? I think I was at a risky one. I should have looked before I left it. Maybe I was at dangerous. I'm pretty sure I was at dangerous, so... 
I think I want to go to an extreme one now. I'm kind of confused. Wait, did I... See, now I forget. Did I dig down? Yeah, I did. Um, let's just go to that extreme one. Magma num high temperatures. Oh wait, I can't go to that one yet. Okay, so I do have to go to a dangerous one. Let's just go to this one then. So I think once I get the Agisite or one of the other two materials and build a full suit of armor, I think then... Uh, then I'll be able to get the heat resistance one, the heat resistant suit. Oh wait, do I have any way? Do I have some? Okay, I still have that. I was gonna say, do I have any way of stopping myself from taking fall damage? Or I guess I could... I wonder if you're falling and if you hold space if it'll do that bubble thing. I don't actually know, is there Agisite on this planet? I guess we'll find out. Oh, there's some right there it looks like. Okay. So yeah, I don't remember what planet I was on, but I must have just not dug enough to find uh, the new materials. I think I only explored the top of the planet, like the surface. This is what happens when you travel to so many different planets and <laughs> you don't really pay too much attention. So yeah, looks like it's pretty easy to find. I haven't even really gotten that deep yet and I'm already finding... I found some of that Thalidium stuff and the Agisite. I haven't found the third one, the red stuff. The Rubium, I think it's called. So we'll see if we can find that. 